Here is everything you need to know about the mental hospital. You arrive on a hospital bed and have to sign a bunch of paperwork that basically says you're not allowed to leave until they let you. But they don't tell you that. Why did I sign the papers? They also don't tell you that once you're in the facility, you can't contact anyone unless you know their phone number by heart. They won't tell your family you're gone. The doctors will take your clothes because clothes are dangerous. You wear a paper gown for days and not be able to change because clothes are dangerous. You cannot have any strings unless it's on a mask because string is dangerous. Everyone there is pretty nice. You got the people who talk to themselves and the people who scream in the middle of the night and the people who are really shy, but they're all very nice. Some of the nurses are very nice. And some of the nurses are very strict. You can be friends with the nurses. You cannot date the nurses. There are five main rooms. The main room, the day room, the other day room, the rooms, and the office. The office is where you are questioned about your sanity. The office is where the doctor lies about you going home in 72 hours, even though he actually means eight days. The main room is where the staff is. You get your food here. You get your stuff here. You get your medicine here. You make telephone calls here. And you can only drink water here because water is dangerous. The day room is the cafeteria. The day room has a TV. The day room is where we have group. Group is not fun, but group is mandatory. The other day room is a smaller day room, but nothing happens there, and there are no trash cans. The day room opens at 6 a.m. and closes at 10 p.m. The day room is where the patients have to be most of their time. The rooms are where we sleep. You get one roommate. You get one desk and one bookshelf, but no chairs and notebooks, because chairs and books are dangerous. The beds feel like brick and the blankets are cold like paper. You get a shower, a sink, and a toilet without a door to stare at everyone passing by your room as you take a pee. You're not allowed to close your room door. There are blinds in your room. There is no window. There is a strict schedule you must follow, or you're deemed mentally ill. You have to wake up at 6 a.m. You have to eat breakfast at 7 a.m. You have to attend two groups that day. You have to eat snack. You have to socialize in the day room. You have to play cards in the day room. You have to eat lunch at noon. You have to take your pills at the right times. You have to stay in your room for an hour of quiet time. You have to take a shower every day. You have to get snack again. You have to eat your dinner. You have to be asleep at 10 p.m. The food does not taste good, but you have to eat a lot of it or else you're deemed mentally ill. Sometimes they give out ice cream and cookies and cakes, which are good. Some medicine makes you sleepy, but you cannot sleep too much or you're deemed mentally ill. Your roommate might scream at random times in the night and keep you up, but you can only sleep at night or you're deemed mentally ill. The showers only trickle water because water is dangerous, so you will smell and get dandruff. You can only brush your teeth with the head of the toothbrush because choking on this choking hazard is not dangerous, but full toothbrushes are dangerous. You have to ask for a comb because combs are dangerous. You cannot shave because razors are dangerous. You cannot cut your hair because short hair is dangerous. If you behave for many days, you will be questioned and you might get a release date. This release date might change if you act up or sleep too much or not eat enough food. You must stay calm until your release date. You will get your stuff back when you are released. The air will burn your lungs.